everybody welcome in for the win i'm sin df hack 50.05 alpha just released whether it was last night or this morning i woke up to it now i've never used it but i hear it adds a ton of quality of life features amongst other things that really improve the dwarf fortress uh way of life as you will so basically this is just going to be a little guide on how to actually install it for people that aren't super tech savvy it's not just like you know, clicking a, a clicking a file and it installs. So basically, uh, on the Reddit forum, there was a nice post, uh, and you can scroll down and it gives you all the links. So when you click on the first one, it takes you to this page here, the DF uh, fifty point zero five alpha. So scroll down way to the bottom. I mean, it tells you majority of what it does, uh, so you can absolutely read that over. But what you want to be doing is you want to be downloading this. I'm I'm a, this is for Windows, of course. I don't play on Mac. I don't play on Linux. Well, I play on Steam Deck occasionally, but that's its own little entity. So you want to download this file, which comes in a zip format. Now, once it's downloaded, oops, that's not where I want to be. Uh, downloads. You want to basically extract it to where it needs to be. Now, there's multiple ways of doing this. You can open it up, you can drag it into a separate folder first, or you can just navigate to the folder that's needed. So, in this case, we're trying to find the root Dwarf Fortress folder. So, when you go into your program files and you scroll down, you're going to find your Steam, and then under Steam in Steam Apps, under common you should find the list of most of the games you've played or have installed i don't have all of these installed but i have at some point in time so dwarf fortress is there now all they're asking us to do is actually just drag all of these items right into here so that's all you need to do essentially once you have that done you've installed df hack now there's not a lot that I can teach you right off the get-go, but when you start Dwarf Fortress, a second command window is going to pop up and tell you that it's ready. So don't panic. All you need to do now is switch back over to Dwarf Fortress. Initially, the DF hack icon is in the top left corner, but I found that wasn't working for me. So that was one of the first things I did was to figure out how to move it. So you can click on this, you can click on the quick start guide, and it'll tell you exactly what you can do with it and how to use it from the base purposes but essentially if you click on the GUI launcher it's going to give you a list of things that you can do with the app so I don't want to do any of that so basically all I wanted to do was move this around and so it mentions in the quick start menu that if you go under GUI you can use the auto search or autofill feature and it's going to tell you all the options that you can do so I want to do the GUI overlay so when I click on that and then I hit enter, it's going to run the little command and it allows me to configure and move stuff around. So in this case, I just want to move the DF hack icon a little more out of the way. Once I'm done, I can click escape and then it's positioned it. So with that, you're going to have to explore yourself and figure out what you're going to be using, but they do have recommended settings inside the quick start guide. They tell you that there's a little bit of information about uh, how to use the various hacks as well as auto chop and stuff like that they give you a little rundown which i will be going over by myself in the future but ultimately the other thing you can think about is that all oh, these windows are nice and resizable as well so i think the concept behind this is if you want to have a window open you can keep it open and you can actually pin it as well so anyways, that was a quick guide on how to get Dorf or DF Hack installed and basically functioning. It'll be up to you to figure out how to use it. Thanks everybody. We'll see you in the future.